Well, we use soap every day. It's an essential item for keeping us clean, but how many people actually know the art and skill it takes to make some of these soaps? For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath goes behind the scenes with a Bemidji handcrafted soap maker and shows us the techniques of the trade. Soap, it keeps us clean. But making soap is quite the dirty job. I just need a little bit of castor oil. Bemidji handcrafted soap maker William Smith has mastered the techniques of taking toiletries and turning them into fragrant and colorful art. I have so many scents in the house it, and you can smell them all. Smith's skills in soap started off as a hobby 10 years ago, but now bath time is a full-time business, all from the comfort of his kitchen. And I was giving away about 90 pounds of soap a year, it just got out of hand and my wife's uh, office, who they received soap every Christmas, they decided that they would uh, not take it for free anymore, they would buy it. So that was the genesis of AM Soap Company. This is only half of the different kinds of bar soaps that Smith makes. Currently he has 18 different types of soap scents, from orange grapefruit to my personal favorite, vanilla raz swirl, which smells good enough to eat. I like to make new, new kinds of soap. Um, I like playing. So it's, I have an excuse to play. Smith uses a method called cold process to make his soap. It is more time consuming than other methods, but it produces the most beautiful bars. I like the appearance. First, Smith mixes lye, a chemical compound that makes soap and water. While the lye and water cool, Smith heats his mixture of five oils, olive oil being the main ingredient. Every oil has different properties. Olive oil, which is the base of my soap, is a very good conditioning um, soap and an emollient for your skin. When the oil mixture reaches 100 degrees, he mixes it with the lye and water, then adds his essential oils and colors. The oil, water, and lye mixture is blended until it becomes a pudding-like texture. And that means it's thick enough to, to mold. Smith pours the soap mixture into a mold, and it sits for a few days. Then he cuts it into bars. But the soap is still not ready to lather up just yet. The bars are still soft, so they need to dry out for about four weeks. And finally, his aromatic art is all set to scrub. The artist in me, as my wife would say, is I like the color and I like the scent. Soap is soap, but I like, the, I like those things. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. Smith is expanding his soap products to lotions, shampoos, aftershave, liquid soaps, and body wash. He sells his soaps at various stores in Bemidji and throughout Minnesota and Illinois. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.